Hello all you beautiful people, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time we fought a dragon and the Elder One foiled his plans, fell down a hole. Uh, we buried him in snow, but his dragon took him away. Go ahead and explore what's down this tunnel. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a slow walk. Where? There what? Well, I'm glad there are a lot weaker than what I just fought. Mark of the Rift. You have gained Mark of the Rift, a focus-based ability. That causes massive damage and can even kill some enemies instantly. Interesting. The focus is a resource that is gained each time someone in your party deals damage. Each party member has a personal focus meter, but all party members can gain focus when a single member deals damage. Okay, so my number one is Mark of the Rift now. Hmm. So I have three directions. This one actually leads... No. I thought it let out, but I was... Oh, it does. Well, what is this over here? Absolutely nothing. Well, let's see about the other little ways forward. Let's check the opposite way we should go. Oh. The opposite way is a dead end. Okay. Wait. That's a dead end too? Hey, I guess we're marching through the snow. Will you survive a blizzard? That is a good question. Yes, you're lost. I know. Wait, is that a camp? Aha! It's cold. Nothing. Old campfire and now there are wolves on the prowl. Great. Where are we going? Another camp. Oh, wow, he's really slow now. <laughs> okay, so we're getting closer. Oh, 
slow. Wow. I think the game developers are really terrible about this. Forcing your player to go slow. Thank the maker. Oh, good. At least that's over. Oh. It's a terrible settlement. <laughs> this we must find a way and who put you in charge we need find a, a consensus for what? so we have nothing please we must use reason without the infrastructure of the inquisition we're hobbled. i can't come from nowhere she didn't say it could enough this is getting us nowhere well we're agreed on that much Shh. you need to rest they've been at it for hours they have that luxury thanks to you the enemy could not follow and with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Hmm. Yelling won't help. The only thing yelling gets us is a headache. Another headache. They know. But our situation, your situation, is complicated. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen him return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure. What we perhaps must come to believe. Uh, fanatical belief is to blame. I uh, need more than faith. Uh. Let's just go with four. All of this happened because of fanatics and arguments about the next world. It's time we start believing in this one. Let me guess, it wants me to talk to each and every one of them, personally. Get them to come together. Oh. And hope has fled. Still your heart, the dawn will come. The night is long, and the path is dark. Look to the sky. For one day soon, the dawn will come. The shepherd's lost, and his home is far. Keep to the stars, the dawn will come. The night is long, and the path is dark. Look to Changes is our place in it. That was great. A word. Oh, really? What do you want to talk about now? Ooh. 
a blue flame. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. Her faith is hard won, Lethalan. Worthy of pride, save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields. The orb he carried. It is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We must find out how he survived. And we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. Oh, shit. Uh... How do you know this? All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? Such things were foci, said to channel power from our gods. Some were dedicated to specific members of our pantheon. All that remains are references in ruins, and faint visions of memory in the fade, echoes of a dead empire. But however Corypheus came to it, the orb is elven, and with it, he threatens the heart of human faith. Hmm. They'll blame us eventually, probably. Even if we defeat Corypheus, eventually they'll find a way to blame elves. I suspect you are correct. It is unfortunate, but we must be above suspicion to be seen as valued allies. Faith in you is shaping this moment, but needs room to grow. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed... changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. Where are we going, though? a place that waits for a force to hold it really there is a place where the inquisition can build grow a place with a view <laughs> Is an awesome place to grow. But who owns it though? Is it abandoned? I mean, there are holes in the roof. Wow, there seems to be a lot of grass for this uh, wintry area. <laughs> mm. That looks ominous. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. Skyhold? It's an interesting name. Has reached these people. It will have reached the elder one. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. You don't say. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew the mark? him to you? <laughs> Not more chosen nonsense. <laughs> But we'll probably choose this one. He wanted the anchor. He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. It's not? Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. 
the one who has already been leading it. Whoa, really? <laughs> oh. You. Dalish. Uh, I'm not your chosen one. Hmm. I'm not human, you trust a mage. Hmm. So many good answers. I'm gonna go with that say, one. They expect a savior, someone with divine power. They want you. Because they think I'm chosen. They believe you are chosen because of what you have done, what you have inspired in all of us without you there would be no inquisition where you lead us what kind of leader you are that is up to you interesting looking blade i'll give you that question is does he actually have the strength to wield it <laughs> special Special. Ooh. I'll set an example as a mage. An elf will stand for us all. Ooh. I like this one. It may backfire on me in the end, but considering an elf started this, but an elf. Yeah, let's go for this. I will lead us against Corypheus, and I will be an ambassador. I'm an elf standing for Thedas. The Inquisition is for all. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> will you fight? <laughs> will we triumph? <laughs> I really am curious how they get to this castle. <laughs> what a wreck! So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Hmm. Need more information. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We I believe. One advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Oh, really? With everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. Uh huh. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He can help. Introduce us. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately on the battlements. Trust me. 
It's complicated. Uh, okay. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. Uh. This is the Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with battered soldiers. If you shut your mouth and open your eyes, You'd see that the Inquisition is our one hope. Oh, fast travel stone. The Undercroft. Ooh. Who is over here? Interesting. Oh, Josephine. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. You don't Everything say. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes and to the death. The Court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Hmm. I guess we'll save the Empress. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress, no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Vision? Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Hmm. I don't have to have a thing to wear. That's where we need to be. <laughs> I don't have a thing to wear. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. I like how I... Thrones found. Interesting. I like how I just talk to Josephine and then everyone shows up. Uh... Okay, so that, that's the War Council. We don't want to go there yet. That's a different person. Fit for a king, eh? <laughs> a bloody palace fit for a king. Surprisingly, it's actually in a lot better condition than I thought. Wow, another fast travel point. Well, I'm going to see if I can't find Varric, and then I will meet you back here. Well, I think we finally found Varric. Oh, actually, he's right there. Um, God, this place is actually pretty damn expansive. Can I go over here? This place is actually pretty cool. Oh, there's an invisible. Oh, you, you cheaters. Oh. All right, Varric, what do you have to say? Who's your contact?
Uh, recreate the custom appearance of your champion of Kirkwall. Oh, okay, this is... Oh. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. Oh, really? This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. <laughs> I know that feeling. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thetis. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? No. I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor. But I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Mm. Is it reversible? If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corinthians mm. would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your <laughs> friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. Hey, what were you investigating? If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. Red lyrium. Well... Worth a shot? I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. In Good. The e, you fought Corypheus. E, where have you been? Ooh, where have you been? Ooh, tell me about Anders. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. Interesting. Where have you been? Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. It didn't. It out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. Okay. What has Varric told you? Assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. <laughs> I'm surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. Blondie's mess? <laughs> Why are you alone? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My brother's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Adeline take him as far from Orlais as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, mm. I had to keep my family safe. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me, and I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. 
Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old to Vinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. I mean... We'll talk later. He doesn't know how to... bend time. Because I'm pretty sure he gave... the Tevinter... the ability to... basically bend time. Alright. That's not a door we can go through. Let's see about finding the blacksmith. Pretty sure he's gonna be down here. Hey, imagine that. I think that's him right there. Here at last. No, that's Colin. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Uh. Now. He's like, Ew. We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have. <laughs> Do you ever stop working? Do you ever sleep? If Carithia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. Good. Uh, how many did we lose at Haven? How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. <laughs> Uh, so you work for me now? You report to me now. Will that be a problem? I was brought on to oversee the Inquisition's forces and offer military advice. That hasn't changed. We needed a leader. You have proven yourself. Hmm. Well, I trust your advice. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Okay. Apparently, let's... Look for coal. Oh! This thing is not a coal. stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Who? Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. Mm. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. How complex? I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. Indeed, my dear. He may call it whatever he likes, but it is still a threat. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solus. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one, and yet he appears human in all respects. Mm. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. I'll talk to him. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. <laughs> if none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Yeah. Choking fear. 
can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white, pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Are you all right? You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every How breath can you help? Lower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. And a Gone. daughter. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. What are you? Solas tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening after a while. <laughs> Any chance you could explain it? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. But what are you? Well, might as well stay and join. You're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Wow. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's, oh boy. Every hour will be painful or basically commit murder and end his pain. Mm. Well, if I were in pain for hours and hours to take to die, I would probably want someone to end it. So, all right, help him. I want to stay. Wow. <laughs> that was interesting. We'll need to find the blacksmith. And I haven't found it yet. This place is huge. Who are you? Scout Harding. Your worship. <laughs> Your worship? What's been going on? Cassandra came through here looking like a storm cloud. That's just her face though, isn't it? No, that is definitely how she feels. Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Gotcha. Me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably are. So, who's Scout Harding really? Me? I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When hmm. the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. Hmm. What's been going on? Ambassador Montillier sent me a basket of flowers to thank me for my work with the Inquisition. She's so lovely. 
<laughs> All right, well. I should go. Ooh. Wait. No, we're back up here. Okay, so that's an alchemy person. Is the blacksmith really? You don't look like a blacksmith. But there is an anvil there, so we'll talk to you. Well, about time you came around to talk, innit? Sign oh. me up, then not so much as a welcome. Little busy, I hope, making sure this new place can keep out a pissing arch demon. And there's in control in it that we're hunting. And draw say what does step in. <laughs> not an elven god. Odd that you'd ask on day over your own gods. My gods? Whatever. They don't talk any more than she does. Not like she's supposed to. I know what <laughs> happened to you. Or what everyone here thinks happened. It seems... I don't know what it seems. Well. Orifus? Orinthius? The ancient thing trying person. to kill us seems pretty real. Don't get me started. Oh, wait. Too late, right? A magister who cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real, then the seat of the Maker? Real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker? Real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world? Real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the Skyhole rubbish so I can go play. Want to go play? Uh, do you believe or not? You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe it or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing. It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. <laughs> I can make this Carithalus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good enough. Well, pick whatever cause you want. As long as you're reliable when we go magister hunting, stay for whatever reason you like. Like don't have nuts to do with it. Not when we're tracking monsters that shouldn't be. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. <laughs> In that order. For now. That almost makes sense. You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know, scary, isn't it? Uh, so yeah. Bring him on. But first, food. I'm starving. Oh. Well, that was certainly not the blacksmith. I guess. Unless there's more. Oh, I guess that's just people. over here um something oh we didn't go to the undercroft maybe he's there now what did they make down here and what can i make ooh interesting Int armor. I sell. The pen is potions. Upgrade potions. Skyhold customization. <laughs> yes, please. Windows. Inquisition. Oh, I guess I have to unlock these. Crossback Basin. Throne. An ugly looking throne. Also ugly. What the hell were they thinking? Well, I guess that's the best we could do. The core. I don't like any of that decor. 
hill or heraldry. Hmm. Baelish. Well, I think we should probably go with Inquisition for Heraldry. Drapery. Basic. That's a lot of drapery. Hmm. I think that might be more interesting than that. Bed. Free marches. Uh, no. Craft weapons. Craft armor. Special shipments. Death of the dragon, bow of the dragon, dagger of the dragon, long sword of the dragon, great sword of the dragon, maul of the dragon, shield of the dragon, heavy armor of the dragon. Light armor, medium armor, enhanced stone bear armor, enhanced var armor, enhanced scorum tar, enhanced adam tar. Interesting. Lots of interesting things. What is this? Nothing? Alright. Looks like Herod survived. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though. It'll be alright. It's Inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. Uh, take the time you need. Oh, for you and me both. You think it's strange to say? It's stranger to hear. Don't let it go to your head. We need you level. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You did what you could, I suppose. How are the new facilities? How's this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade. Ever forward. Is everything functional? You've got it all up and running. Your basics, like always. There's space here for I don't know what. This place was built for something big. It'll be a job to fill it. Any thoughts? Have you any thoughts about the people we lost at Haven? Yes. Care to share? No. It hurts, and I don't want to spit on your efforts. You saved who you could. We have to be happy with that. All right. I'll be back later. I'll be here. All right. Well, we know where the war room is. Back in the main hall. And it is to our right. Uh, not that right. Can we, like, clean up this place? It's really hard to get around, people. <laughs> Don't want to talk to her. We want to go to our war room. Uh, that definitely needs to be patched. Nice view, though. I think it would look better if we had some, like, uh, stained glass windows here. Let's uh, summon the war council. Nice table. Let's check on Ferelden. There are a lot of things. Fellow mere resources. The city has agreed to send us five dozen guardsmen. Not raw recruits. Well, good luck, they'll know which end to grip a sword by. Blood Lotus and Dawn Lotus are both found in the Fellow Mire. The area is also known for summer stone and blue vitriol. Now the Inquisition has established a camp in the region. They could instruct their men to seek out these resources and send anything they find. Skyhold. Urgh. To work? Yes, to work. Build watchtowers. What did we get? Didn't tell me. Cool. Oh. Rita's staff. 
Okay. Okay, what about Orlaze? Oh, I guess that's... Ooh! 20 power. I suppose not. Haven was trying. Hmm. Josephine can go there. Influence plus 30. Ooh. Make contact with the... in the Emerald Graves. now. Okay, that's available now. Truth or Dare Lake Silliston. Let's see what we have. Leanna can go there. As far as eight power. Busy busy. Completed secrets. Oh, that's... Your heart shall burn. Forces completed. Levels eight to oh. Yeah, that was the last quest we did. Hmm. Well, I think that's where we'll leave off on this episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. You want to see me go make contact in the Emerald Graves? You better like, subscribe, and stick around, and we'll have another episode for you soon. Alright, bye.